of freedom you've lost. I lost my mind because I haven't slept in five fucking days. In Ottawa, Canada, that guy and many other residents have had enough. <laughs> Nearly a week ago, hundreds of truckers rumbled into the capital city to protest vaccine mandates. 24 hours a day, they've been leaning on their horns. The sentiments were captured on the side of this truck, F. Trudeau. But in Canada, the prime minister, the federal government, has nothing to do with the mandates. A fact lost on many truckers. Stops when the government lifts the mandates. You fucking idiot! But the mandates are provincial, not federal! The mandates! If you're mad about wearing a okay, mask, okay. we're getting a fucking vaccine! Go talk to Doug Ford! Okay, well, you know what? The fucking Prime Minister has nothing to do with actually, this! Actually, actually, he does. Do you know anything about civics? Yes. By all accounts, the demonstration has turned into an occupation. Residents cannot sleep and they can't drive around the city because the streets are clogged. And all we hear is these horns going all night long. It's driving us crazy. We're trying to get to campus but all of the um, bus routes to campus are closed. They're in the, what I would call the splash zone. I feel bad for them. Um, and, but when you want to change something in history, there's always going to be some un uncomfortableness. But it's been more than just uncomfortable. The so-called freedom convoy has included anti-Semitic signs the desecration of monuments, and the participation of far-right political activists, including supporters of Donald Trump. A hawk it will continue until freedom improves. Simple as that. Simple as that. Fuck you. Fuck me? Fuck you. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. Police in Ottawa say they have found a significant American component to the protests and noteworthy American funding. A GoFundMe page here in the United States for the convoy has raised over $10 million. Law enforcement authorities in Canada say they have begun several investigations, but are reluctant to try and break up the demonstrations because of fears of rioting and possible violence. And the police chief in Ottawa, he's suggesting there is not a policing solution to all of this. So the residents of Ottawa are essentially stuck. They've been pleading with the truckers to knock off the horns at least overnight. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is calling the truckers a fringe minority and says the convoy reflects the proliferation of, quote, disinformation and misinformation online, conspiracy theorists about microchips, about God knows what else that go with the tinfoil hats. But the protesters, who now have the support of several Republicans in the U.S. Congress, argue that leaders around the globe, including in the United States, are abusing their authority with heavy-handed vaccine mandates. And so the clash and the noise in Ottawa continues. The truckers insist they are standing up for freedom. Residents say the convoy is actually taking away freedoms. Business leaders point out the convoy has forced the closure of countless restaurants and shops, costing millions of dollars. And according to nearly everybody involved in Ottawa, including the truckers, this clash does not have any ending in sight. <laughs>